Well, hello people, and welcome back to part 18 of Rannock Carbon and the Boreal Build. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, we just chilling out in the massive residential expansion that we put up last episode, uh, as the essentially crawl to the downtown begins uh, in these new tile spaces. Uh, but we are kind of out of residential demand in that continued crawl. So we have a ton of industry. Uh, we kind of need to balance what we did last episode. Now, the city, as of yet, doesn't have a dedicated power plant. We are currently spamming geothermal buildings in our oil area, so we need to clean these up today. And there's a little bit of land here in the crook of the river. I think we can use the tile boundary to kind of demarcate a build, really. And then kind of work with this peninsula here to build a power station. Which we're going to do nuclear because we are already that far into the game. So let's build Rannoch a dedicated riverside nuclear power facility, shall we? So first of all, I'd like to grab the industrial road and just feed this center stuff a 90 degree angle straight into the facility. Now, I'd like to use the natural disaster response unit as a bit of a facility entrance slash also supplementary or auxiliary support building for the power station itself. So we'll have that there. Now, I'd like this on an angle. Now, it's a pretty chunky building, so... You might need a little bit more room than that. Now this building is also kind of chunky concrete vibes, so it's going to really complement the power stations. So something on this orientation. Let's maybe bring it a touch closer toward the road. And we can actually just hover it perfectly in that gap there. Also give the area a quick deforesting. I think I'm happy with that. I'm going to chuck a six lane in on the entrance as well. But that's already such an important viewpoint, isn't it? Nice angled building, big concrete structure. Looks like it could certainly be housing some kind of scientific infrastructure, at least. So, we'll have that as our first building. Uh, there's a ton of animals over here, isn't there? We've got Tophy bears. Uh, the moose are back as well. Hopefully we'll see a few more animals today. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, so, I think with our nuclear configuration... So I think for our nuclear configuration, I imagine the city in its current size will probably only need two, and even then we can adjudge it with the power slider. So let's start to configure some roads here to hold such a structure. So I think we'll leave a retard gap uh, between the kind of collector road here. Also connect that in for access. Now with the positioning of the reactors themselves, uh, let's actually grab our uh, nuclear plants right here and... I'm going to leave three tiles again between the outer road and the power plant. And then I think we'll use canals for the first time in the city as well. Acting as, I guess, a bit of a coolage channel for the power plants themselves. So if we were to place them right up next door, I think I'm most happy with that aesthetic there, I think. We could also actually use this as an opportunity to working a little bit of sewage or actually water pumping how are we doing for water capacity both are pretty much the same level so i guess we could do either or so let's leave maybe two or three tiles in that sort of format and let's say we add in two water pumps which this format because it's so modular and expandable will essentially keep the city watered and powered for the rest of its duration essentially so i'd be happy i think with that uh, let's go ahead and repeat that design on the other side as well. Fantastic. So that already looks like a much more significantly expanded power infrastructure, doesn't it? Now with so much pump action, it might end up sucking too much water out for the aesthetic, but we might just trim them back if that ends up happening. Uh, let's feed this off into the canal. Now we have those nuclear plants placed as well. We can also trim up. Let's also get rid of some abandonment over here as well. Let them regrow. Uh, I know these thermal plants can go. I think that's all the sources of power we placed. There is another one here, but this is part of the refinery, so that's okay. Uh, and then we do have our starter oil. Uh, our starter coal plant over here as well, which we could also gentrify this industry at some point. I guess we'll see. Uh, we also use Industrial Evolution over here as well today. Cool, so I like that. Uh, let's bring some roads around the back of them now. Uh, we could also actually... How much room do we have to play with here? 
was thinking if we were to continue with that three tile gap around, it will allow us to expand the concrete footprint with some details during the time lapse and use some of the uh, vanilla industrial props to bring it in. Now, of course, the aprons will collide with it and just generally not behave themselves, but there are a few sweet spots where they can be squeezed in. At least for the most part, anyway. So, maybe not. Maybe we'll just go with the road, I think, directly behind the back. I think to give a bit more purpose to these back roads, I think I'm going to draw them out by, let's say, 16, and then come down on a small elevation. And then I just want to bring them up by 3 metres, essentially, as close to the canals they can get, because I guess it kind of serves as a bit of a observation platform, you know, for scientists or, you know, nuclear physicists, people that want access to the grubby maintenance of an industrial facility like that. So kind of featuring it as a bit of a guard rail for perhaps observation or maintenance for the facility is the general vibe there, I think. So just get that in on this side too. Fantastic. I'm happy with that. Uh, and then we can essentially repeat this as many times as we want. So I think I will throw in possibly four reactors and then turn two of them off until we need them. So let's get that design repeated. I think in terms of what we'll do, I would just like to test the aesthetic of the reactors because we're going to end up with large rows of them here. And I just want to kind of check for distance and I think I'm going to be happy with that. And it narrows this road down here as well, doesn't it? It gives a bit more purpose, this viewing platform too. Probably putting too much thought into that, but <laughs> I think it'll look good. So uh, let's get that repeated around the back of these two as well. something to that extent i think and i think we'll also bring the canal back out of the system down here too and was like they've kind of built the flow to suck water in and then it can leave back out again and then they just take what they need from the current essentially so we can get it in right next door there but that's going to make it pretty awkward i would like to include some pathways so let's leave a couple of tile distances and then we'll feed that straight out over there too that's going to look wonderful. Then I think with this road here, we will actually turn this one into a functional bridge and repeat the measurements on the same side. And then we'll use this as an opportunity to bring in a district and get some industrial evolution down by the water as well, which we will need to let level up because it's always level one stuff will be all brick stuff, which is not the vibe here. And we'll also name the district Nielsen Power Station after our wonderful Patreon subscriber, Lars Nielsen. Thank you for all your support, Lars. You're out of secret blend of herbs and spices, mate. Uh, we'll give this Brooklyn and Queens, and I think rather than mass zoning, I think we're going to go for a little too deep repeated pattern so we can get some thinner warehouse buildings in here. And then maybe on the corner we can have one larger building. Let's try and mix and match those zoning patterns in so we can create some more interesting shapes. There we go. That'll be fabulous. I'll be happy with that, I think. Uh, with this space here, I guess we could do some more reactors. Uh, it probably would make sense with the space, I think, wouldn't it? We just have to turn them off, actually, let's remember before we hit play. Uh, to turn these off as well. Because that's going <laughs> to cost us an absolute fortune. Uh, let's let the simulation play. And we'll uh, watch the water rush in, which is always very satisfying, isn't it? The level one stuff will change, we just need to leave it. Uh, and as we feared, this is just too strong. How about if we just went down to one per side? And then can we change possibly the depth prior to create a bit of a reserve? That is working a little bit, although now it's actually happening. I don't mind the aesthetic of a little bit, I guess, of the spillway being dry. I think I could get away with that. We've had to turn these two pumps off, otherwise we're just wasting money. Uh, let's also check our power as well. Yeah, <laughs> way, way too overproducing. So let's bring that budget down to like 66% maybe. Yeah, even a little bit less than that. Do 63. I should be good then with water. Yeah, we're super good for water at the minute. 
We are in need of sewage, so I guess we could include one of the uh, sewage assets here as a part of the build. We'll uh, include that in the next section, I think. But that little medium section does help fill it up, so I guess we can probably get used out of it, I suppose. But uh, that's not a too horrendous configuration, is it? I'll be happy with that. Let's also get more of this industrial zoning coming in as well. So let's turn our attention toward the front of the facility here now. Um, I definitely like some car parking for a facility like this for visitors or or workers and whatnot. So let's come into our parking. We'll grab the Japanese railroad car park since they're a little more industrial looking. And we'll place these in a set configuration. So let's have them maybe about here in a little pattern. And let's have a little row of trees separating that as well. Let's do some little boreal pines. We're not using these ones too much. Fantastic. Uh, so I also want to relocate this power, uh, not well, this garbage collection building uh, into the power plant as well. Uh, so let's start setting up some frames because we wanted that water treatment center in here as well, didn't we? So again, I think we'll... Yeah, I'd like probably like, I think five reactors would be nice, wouldn't it? So what are we playing with here? So we want another 11 units. This will occupy the space of the next power station. Which I guess we can just go ahead and throw that in right now and turn it off. So really future proofing the city's power supply here with all this. Because when you do turn it off, you go down to zero upkeep. Uh, this does not apply to cities two, by the way, if you're taking ideas for that game. Uh, turning off the building does have, still give it a very small remaining upkeep. Uh, so I don't want them to be connected to the power plant roads. So let's have this one come up and then we'll see if we can place these in a fun little configuration. So they're both very similar looking assets with the industrial fence in. And so let's natural disaster away the collection depot, because we don't need that anymore. And then we will re relocate it over here. So let's just have a look at the assets. It may be even two of these back to back against the um, advanced water treatment actually would be quite welcome. Something like that. And then maybe a little bit of specific industrial evolution in the corners around it. Let's bring this up to just where it wants its connection. And then break it down toward the canal and let's get some further buildings and around these larger assets to keep expanding that facility. I enjoy that. Let's also add a connection onto this this little industrial collector as well. Wouldn't be too bad, would it? So that takes care of our power more than enough. We actually already need to boost that budget again. Let's go ahead and bust up to 68. Cool. Uh, and then we probably should, I guess, have fire around here as well. Uh, so this could be a good chance to introduce another fire helicopter depot. Uh, which we did have one over in the oil area. We do have a pretty high fire chance around the city. So how about we have this? Yeah, that's going to sit and fit on the corner. I think it is, isn't it? It's okay there though, I think I'd rather include it as part of the um, disaster response building though. So let's do this here. I wonder, is there a positioning where we can essentially combine you two together? Do you just need to terraform up so slightly? We'll likely end up keying the river here as well. I think it would probably be fairly appropriate. Let's bring that down. Let's bring this one up to the corner. And now we should be able to bring the fire helicopter depot in like that and i think with some vanilla pathways and extended surface apron work uh, we can really kind of blend these two buildings together by creating little walkable areas around them it's also bringing some more industrial evolution into this as well get some buildings here allow the alleyway to come through i think it's all these little intricacies you can add into areas with zoning and service buildings uh, add a lot more personality into them, I think. And of course, a facility like this absolutely wants its fair share of oil fencing. Uh, which we're running from this way. Let's feed it all the way down. Uh, I also want to do a second part of the build near here today as well. There's a little bit of a, um, a highway pullover area, I suppose, is what we're after here. Now, uh, I know we could use the security booths here, the, the tolls, but um, I don't think I'm going to. I think I'd be happy just to have it like that. 
Well, hopefully now with a lot of our main assets in, we can really see the impact that's going to have, right? The um, natural disaster response unit blends in tremendously well with these reactor units, doesn't it? Very nice combo, that one. And again, all this industrial evolution just needs to be left to level up. Well, you do get some wonderful crop arrangements with back-to-back -back zoning, don't you? That's, that's very handy for vanilla. It's a great part of this one. So while this continues to grow up, uh, we can turn our attention toward the second half of today's build. As we spot another vegan bear. It's about to be deforested, I'm sorry, my friend. But uh, just here, off of the highway interchange, I built a few episodes ago. I like to build a little kind of like pullover stop, you know, maybe if you're passing through Rannoch or you're just coming off the highway and you need fuel, you need to stretch your legs, it's a bit of a... Is it's not a true highway, well, I guess it is a technical highway rest stop, isn't it, I suppose. But I think it'd be nice to link into this suburb over here. That would be a lot of fun. So, let's bring some roads out. Now, we use nicer roads for this than the industrial ones. I think first of all, what I'd like to do is configure the car parking at the front of what essentially is going to be a little strip mall. So let's leave two tiles in between. We'll have our wide sidewalks on. And then I want them to be... I suppose while we're going for a larger highway rest stop, we can have the larger ones. So let's grab our classic vanilla parking. We'll have one, and then I want it to be separated by a little grass road with medium. And then we'll do the same again here. And then the same with the grass road. And I suppose we can afford one more stretch. We do have a little bit of room here. And you do tend to find quite a lot of car parking at service stations and highway rest stops and whatnot. And then on the ones on the edge, we'll have the no sidewalks, I think. Uh, and then let's have a nice little grass-lined, tree-lined median coming in. Uh, we'll do five unit curves back in. Same over here again, too. Change it up to a nicer tree. Let's go for... Palavan Pine's a bit extravagant, isn't it? Let's do, do Silver Birch. So I'd like to use a couple of unit buildings over here, and I think this would be a great opportunity to pull out things like the Oriental Market and the Drive-In Oriental Restaurant. And then I'd like a bit of commercial zoning out here as well. So we'll do mixes of threes and fours. Let things grow in. And also a little bit over here as well. So I'd also like to expand the back of it out, which I suppose for this we need a park gate for what I want to do. Which is, okay, we can put a park somewhere, probably... I guess we can just include it as part of the service station, can't we? Uh, so let's have a city park. We'll do small park main gate, and let's just push this out. We're also going to name this Walker Rest Stop after another one of our wonderful patrons, Walker. Thank you for all your support, mate. Uh, I do appreciate it. Uh, and then I think around the back of the gates here. I'm not bothered about it making money, so we'll have multiple entrances in. I just want to connect people into this wider green belt. Now, can you lot walk down here? These are highway roads, so they won't walk here. And there was a power line, so an overpass might be a little bit difficult. So I guess there's not too much reason to feed pedestrians down this way. So I don't think there's too much reason to feed them down that way then, if it's all kind of highway roads and unwalkable. I don't really want to change that configuration either. So we'll just have them be able to walk here then, that's fine. This should get some traffic, there's already some folks down to pick this up now. Now let's historicalise buildings we like. I think I just missed one over there, didn't I? Bookstore's fine. Let's let that grow up, get some more commercial in there too. Oh, yeah, this one's about to change. What are we going to get? Oh, is that the gas stop? It is, isn't it? Perfect. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. Uh, and then the wider park space, sorry, before I got distracted with uh, feeding pathways elsewhere. Um, is it just like a little kind of kids play area, essentially. A place where you can enjoy some time at the playground. Chill out at a couple of gazebos by the, by the river. And then I want the little benches. And then just some little riverside respite from the... What have incredibly busy Rannoch highways. It is uh, one of the more busier cities we've put together so far at Rannoch, isn't it? Highway networks are getting a lot of use. And then I reckon some nice kind of shady oaks by the river will also go a long way. 
So these kind of vibes, really. I want to expand around a little highway rest stop. Just on the end of town. Look at that bank train going there as well. Isn't that fabulous? Love watching the city move around in the in the distance there. <laughs> it's very satisfying as it see the busy highways too. Where people would have just pulled off after a long drive. So like, come and visit the highway rest stop, which indeed they are visiting, aren't they? Goodness me. It's uh, it's a busy one this. I like it. And do you know what we could possibly do? Whilst we're kind of playing with the highway rest stop vibe. Why don't we install a little kind of park and ride system, maybe? So why don't we say, perhaps, I guess we could use bus pedestrian road is going to be quite nice for it. Uh, we can delete this sewage pond now as well. Yes, we can't do that anymore. Uh, I think over the other side of the road might be pretty cool. And then we can blend what will be a park and ride system into whatever occupies this bit of land as this next tile opens up. We'll, uh, we'll consider that at a later date. Let's also get rid of the traffic lights on this road too. There we go. So yeah, a little, a little park and ride system. Um, let's... We have a bus stop. I guess I'm trying to ferry them over here into another bus line, for which we can probably just extend the one that's already running around this suburb. And eventually send it off with one that goes back that way as well. Probably, sorry to get distracted. <laughs> we also do a lot of talking, not a lot of building. I had to link back in with the BRT system as well. Sorry to keep thinking out loud, but I hope it's at least somewhat helpful to him, our thought process. Uh, so we'll have the buses come down this way, and I guess we'll repeat the same measurements. So let's do little five curves. And then we can just have that run pretty much parallel. Make a very interesting shape around this road too. And we could even highlight that middle section of road with perhaps a little bit of fancy grass, maybe. I think I'd be on board with that. Uh, and then let's do a simple little uh, elevated pedestrian pathway here. Uh, so we'll come... Essentially, how many tiles do we have to play with here? Ten. So number five would be in the middle. Let's bring this one straight over. And then we'll have a very nice pedestrian path coming back down. Five units either side. Cool. Something like that. Of course. <laughs> of course. We managed to line it up with some modern art. Perfect. And then let's just go ahead and extend that bus line down. We can also use it to stop at the power plant as well. Uh, so we'll catch it on its way out of the stadium. It can then disappear into the park and ride system to meet up with potential future bus lines. Which we'll have there. Uh, stop again either side of the power station as well. And then it comes back into its route, stopping in and around the suburb, which is perfect. Fantastic. Cool. So we can also add a little bit of park and ride around here too. But either way, that feels like a splendid place for a detail in town maps. I want to expand the family recreational vibes. <laughs> As, you are. As the families walk through the bear gardens, I really hope he doesn't despawn. I'll try my hardest to preserve that. <laughs> That's just before. Get off the highway to the wild bears that are pretty common across Wallach's rest stops. Um, yeah, so we kind of fence and detail all this up. Um, more details around here. And then lots of fencing, keys, and industrial refinements around these areas. Uh, they are slowly starting to level up now, I hope. You probably need some more services, I reckon. So, uh, possible police station incoming as well. Uh, keys tight all together, bring in some forest and a little bit of nature detail in by the edge of our highway rest stop here. Which should be a lot of fun. So let's detail up our power station and highway rest stop. And then we'll be right back.
Okay, guys, let's have a little look around our highway rest stop a power plant combo, shall we? So, leaving the road from the highway, we have some green belt and rock work that now encases the train line. And something I love about kind of early to mid game CS is seeing the rails begin to kind of mark their territory through the city, especially when it's a banked rail like this. It's always a lot of fun, isn't it? <laughs> really like it. There's some park and prop work around here, places to pull over and stretch your legs, get a bite to eat, exactly while you come off the highway. Uh, with food stands over here, tables behind them, hedges, fountains, there's a little gazebo over here in the park as well. And then some classic park life activities. Playgrounds, an extremely busy playground actually. For some reason all the playgrounds <laughs> in Ranoka are super busy, people can't get enough of them. As are the gazebos as well, really crowding in there aren't they? And then there's more benches down here before the pathway loops around and back toward the highway rest stop where we have lots of our tastefully chosen commercial. Or I guess you can kind of count the books towards a WH Smith. You can also pull over and get a copy of CS2 as well if you want at the highway rest stop. It's coin laundry, a couple of these unique, so just a nice selection of appropriate highway stop assets, including the gas station over here as well. Across the way, we have some nice detailing down the main road with the elevated pedestrian walk. And this is getting some nice use. Now, we've also introduced another bus line that's heading down the couplet. Uh, there you go, you can see him stop here. Uh, and then he's kind of doing a loop around the town centre, mingling in with the trams. And then coming back down this way. So that's a nice bit more public transport convergence to get people on buses back and to across the city. And uh, this is a nice little hub. So um, let me know what you think should kind of tether on to this, because obviously when that tile opens up, all this Riverland becomes available. So and we've got a nice little bus hub waiting here as well. Uh, there's some zoo cafes in here alongside some benches and some little eatery work with benches and whatnot near the bus stop. So a nice little bus hub. And uh, we've got room for possibly, I guess, three or four more bus lines here as well to possibly head out these areas. Uh, at some point so nice little prep for public transport there and of course the elevated pathway is always a treat isn't it see that getting lots of use over here so love that and then kind of viewing from this point we can see this big industrial facility just off on the horizon county which looks awesome uh, let's head down toward here We've got lots of fencing outside of the facility which will continue once this tile opens up of course uh, and then we'll come down here uh, where we have some of the Japanese railroad, little ploppable branch buildings, which are always nice for industrial units. Uh, plenty of airport aprons around here too, alongside a statue with a tiny little plaza and some benches outside the front of, I guess, what we can treat as our main nuclear administration building, if you want to call it that. Uh, some more industrial evolution over here, which we are still waiting on the last ones to level up to get rid of the brick. They will just slowly tick away over time down to these more modern warehouse buildings, which is really what I wanted to try and utilize today. Uh, over here, we have more airport apron work with some fencing, kind of demarcating the area where the reactors occupy. Uh, and then some expanded industrial prop work on the walkable concrete space in and around the industry. This also comes around here too, more over this side as well, before we arrive at the quay, which now flows against the river. Uh, and then we have some more industry and office over this space also. And uh, another fire uh, rest stop here. And another office space with some parking. And there's a couple of these little uh, Hearts of Korea police stations dotted about the facility as well. Uh, because the buildings here really wanted uh, services to level up. And uh, we can see we got a medical helicopter depot in here as well. Just as a bit more industrial service. Uh, and then I love the aesthetic of kind of the reactor buildings all lined up these big chunky concrete structures that are obviously housing nuclear technology very cool and then each of these roads like we discussed in the episode has their own little viewpoint for admin maintenance there's a moose trapped in one of them <laughs> so i guess now we can have the nuclear moose let me know if you guys want to <laughs> introduce the nuclear moose alongside the tofu bear as part of Rannoch's historical heritage, of course. Uh, and we are pumping water and creating power alongside processing sewage as part of this build. A little bit more brick buildings waiting to level up here. Of course, they will slowly tick away over time. But uh, I really like the combination of waste transfer facility with sewage treatment. Really helps expand that industrial vibe out, doesn't it? A little bit more parking over here as well alongside some fencing. 
and then it crosses over into more of that industrial evolution where you can see a little fire station and the police station from hearts of korea as well just to help keep their services satisfied and uh, we got some very nice proper arrangements around the back of the industrial evolution stuff uh, definitely one of the best content creator packs the game had uh, super cool so i'm always happy to see stuff like this in vanilla as we get down into it you can kind of see the cooling towers from down here as well at the back of these buildings very loud in here <laughs> i'll have to make sure to bring that down in the edit uh, but otherwise that pretty much future proofs ranox power uh, i love the view from here as well like if you're let's say for example uh, i don't know living on one of these apartments here or enjoying a drink on the rooftop you can just see the towers as a bit of an industrial skyline over there so the people that live in this suburb now have this enormous industrial facility nearby but kind of a mini skyline within itself isn't it really i bet you can see this from pretty much anywhere as well if we were to drop back into the town center outside the university yeah you just see it there, a little mini skyline by itself isn't it alongside the actual skyline that is slowly developing of course but uh we managed to take off some of that industrial demand today uh, alongside bringing in a little bit of a highway rest up uh, with a bus park and ride system too but otherwise we'll leave it there guys thank you so much for watching massive shout out to all the patrons that support these videos with a special roll call to andrew perez and ova casino thank you for all your support legends if you want to get involved in that there are links down below to patreon and instant gaming where there's early access there's a patreon podcast there's previews and a nice little close-knit community if you're interested in getting a little bit more egg in your diet bit of a weird episode today a combo of industrial service where we needed sewage power and some general service spaces alongside a little highway rest stop that helps satisfy some commercial and also allows us to bring a bit more public transport over to this side of the map because outside the metro there's not that much over here because the trams don't flow this side of the city uh, we will eventually probably have the trolley buses loop up this way because of course they run into the suburb a little bit further down the river from here so it's likely we'll end up with trolley buses probably turning around here at some point in the future but well, hope you managed to find some enjoyment or inspiration from it anyway please do enjoy the cinematics but i'll shut up and leave it there let's thank you all so much indeed for watching and as always enjoy the rest of your day <laughs>